the sun. Of course we love the sun. <laughs> Happy and single. I wonder if this is, uh, there was another sign who had exactly the same combination of, of uh, energies. And one is nine of pentacles, one is the sun. You know, happy being single or single um, and happy to be. This is, of course, focusing on yourself. Uh, and probably this is where you are right now, Virgo, right? You focus on yourself and you don't really um, care much at this point because we are in self-care. And we are also staying in the light. We will see why the light is needed. For some of you, of course, this is a kid. This is a son. Um, for some of you, this is you. Um, Leo energy somewhere in your chart. And... Uh, and the enlightenment and the truth and the awakening and the awareness and the abundance that comes with um, taking the high road. So let's see what's going on. Why so many energies? What exactly the universe wanted you to know? Beautiful energy. One very practical of self-care, of money, and one of spirituality uh, by excellence. So three of cups. Eight of Cups, Ace of Swords, hmm. I know, King of Wands, maybe that was a fire sign, we do have Leo and now we have Aries, Leo Sagittarius, Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Knight of Cups, a confirmation, right? Twice. That's why we combine a couple of decks so that we uh, know when a thing is real. And this time, walking away was uh, the main point. Four of Swords and the Judgment. Mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty sure we walked away from um, a third party situation there. We do have Water Sign and uh, Fire Sign. We have twice the Eight of Cups, right? So. It, it can be a connection, maybe in the past, Virgo, you just left behind and it's still in your energy, right? That's why we read the past, just to see what you drag from the past and it's still there and it's unsolved and, and we need to focus on. Um, so what do we have? We have actually emotional disconnection and walking away from a connection that maybe there was a third party situation. Um, or we got awakened to something, Ace of Swords, right? For some of it was that communication that uh, made you think that, you know what, that's enough. I'm done. And the final decision was made. And it's interesting. It feels like you walked away from each other. So it's not one person. It might have been like a natural disconnection after finding out something. And it was like, you know, the uh, cherry on the Sunday. And it's like, no, no, we are not going to stay in, in this, right? Um... And we give people chances and we give people chances to explain themselves, right? And, and say something about and be honest and come clean um, and express their thoughts and um, and they don't, right? So I kind of feel that we uh, walked away and it's both of you, right? Twice the, ace of, uh, the Eight of Cups is the energy of disconnection, is the energy of walking away from each other because at some point clarity came and, um, you know, and the mind went into rest. Four of Swords. I'm not sensing conflict. I'm sensing probably again other people and a decision was needed for your own sake, your own peace of mind, your own enlightenment, your own break. Uh, Four of Swords is the energy of, um, of breaking up with someone um, because we just want to be at peace, right? Energies right now, we do have the Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Six of Pentacles. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Three of Cups. The Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. And the Star Aquarius energy, I know. We are enlightened. I love this, Virgo, for you. I honestly love this. Of course, we still have concerns. That's how the uh, past energies are all over you right now. Um, and walking away brought some peace of mind. But right now we are still questioning and, uh, you know, being, we are still in our head about it. I feel that it's something about that third party situation that is still burdening you. Be it because you know the person. It has this energy of being not that far away from you. 
maybe it's a person that you've known um you know because i see you right now trying to make peace and trying to bring some balance and healing to your actual situation you know it's still uh, a burden of a thought but uh, we have you working hard towards enlightenment compromise um kindness healing emotional healing spiritual healing and six of pentacles again this energy of being kind and it might be a fire sign you are dealing with um but we have you trying uh right to have proper communication to be kind in your with your words um patient and it's interesting you show up as uh, being in a place of spiritual abundance and material abundance we do have the empress and we have the sun right both energies one of enlightenment uh, one of physical wealth and I um, um, material wealth right your um, and and probably your body uh, with the nine of Pentacles it is self-care so we are in a place of, of healing but it, this is serious um, commitment right to, to to follow whatever it is on your path and whatever is bringing you um, towards your higher self and uh, to a place of um, I would say the place of feeling what you want to be feeling right now you know because it looks like a journey but a very calculated one uh where we follow this me methodically we follow the steps right so let's see what's coming your way after all this hard work we do have the two of wands queen of cups ace of wands and the chariot cancer energy four of cups four of swords ten of wands and seven of cups i would say pay attention to the opportunities around you and we do have the magician at the bottom of the deck right it is five of swords i don't feel it's yours but I would say we, we have energies of confusion, Virgo. So I don't know if at this point, being at crossroads with the two of wands, we need to make up our to make our mind to make up our mind. We have the four of cups, seven of cups, both energies a little bit of you know not not really looking um, at the future with the eyes of opportunity, and yet that is one ace of wands, the chariot, right? It is uh, the energy of success and moving forward. And yet it's combined with this energy of illusion, right? Not kind of, um, you know, not kind of seeing that there is an opportunity around you. Queen of Cups, Ace of Wands. Definitely a new beginning, one that is emotionally fulfilling. And yet it's combined with the Four of Swords. Maybe you want to stay put for now. And that's all right, you know, um, if that's how you feel. And it's, But the universe is kind of saying that is opportunity, that is abundance around you. It comes with responsibility, I know, Ten of Wands, right? comes with extra effort. Four of Swords, it comes with a plan and strategy. And strategy. And it comes with movement. And maybe we are not at that place just yet. And that's all right. But somebody is advised here. That is an opportunity. And, um, and that is possibility of mature energies, of moving forward in a mature way, experienced way. It's a reassurance for someone. You have the knowledge. We know ye uh, yellow in tarot. It's all about knowledge. We have the emotional stability. We have the passion and the drive. And um, and now we are guided, you know, with a the, with the chariot to simply break free of whatever keeps you, um, I would say, confined. But we are all a bit confined here. So you've been advised, Virgo. You've been advised. Um... Overall energy, you can have the sun and you can have the money, right? With the nine of pentacles, that's exactly ace of wands, the sun. A new opportunity that allows you and the enlightenment you want um, and the material stability you uh, work for. So let's, um, let's ask for some guidance. Definitely opening up to love. Honestly, the whole reading is saying is about time. And we have no reason to be confused, actually, it's um, jump, it's choosing and jumping. We do have chivalry, so somebody here <coughs> is guide. <coughs> sorry, I'm losing my voice today. Um, <coughs> somebody here is guided to actually act from a place of um, 
of manners and kindness and responsibility, a place of being the bigger person in a connection, stay enlightened with luminosity. And honestly, I feel that that is like, kind of like an enlightening love coming your way and inner peace. Stay at peace, love is coming. Bottom of the deck, ask for help. What do you really need? Be willing to accept support. That is no doubt that love is, around, uh, is all around you, Virgo. If that is one message here is, I know, I know you want to stay put. I know you want to be healing right now. You still have uh, things from the past that we want to deal with. But you've been notified that it is an offer. Um, and that is a possibility around you here. Maybe it's someone, honestly, the guidance uh, Virgo feels like that is someone that maybe you don't give them uh, the time of day. Maybe you think that, you know, you want someone else. Maybe they don't uh, check all the boxes. And because somebody here, and we ask for guidance for you. And we have love and, love and chivalry, right? It's all about being kind and um, opening up to love, to enlightenment, to inner peace through um meaningful love and meaningful connection energies we put back into the flow or we release and definitely releasing blame words of affirmation i accept responsibility for my well-being you are the only one happiness i am aware that being happy means that i am on the right path trust i accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly so trust, happiness is coming as we release blame. Purpose, I know what I'm here to do. And we have inner peace and purpose, right? Enlightenment and trust. So kind of like trust your intuition on the messages you receive. They are meant for you and your awakening. And we have inner peace and purpose. Stay at peace. And um, joy. Surrender to joy. I don't remember what it was it uh, taught us, I guess. Had happiness, love, and joy. So surrender to joy. A key to positive change in your life is to let joy in and savor it. Indulge in random acts of smiling. During both the hard and easy times, keep surrendering to more joy. I believe, Virgo, the past is in the past and the opportunity right coming your way, you need to see it. You absolutely need to see it. And I wouldn't be that concerned because the overall energy is just beautiful. The sun and nine of pentacles, stability and happiness, right? Stability and awakening. Um, new beginnings are coming. But I also understand that we need to figure out something. Four of cups and the seven of cups is really um, figuring out truth from illusion. That's exactly the message for someone here, you know. And bring yourself to a state of peace once you figure out what was true and what was an illusion. Um, so Virgo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.